Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Isa and today I will teach you how you can quickly create a stamp brush in Procreate. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in. I'm going to open Procreate and then I'm going to create a new document. And to do that, I'm gonna tap on the plus sign here on the top right corner. Then I want to have a square canvas. So as you can see, it says here square and the measurements are 2048 by 2048 pixels. So I tap there. And then I will just draw whatever shape I want. And you have to use the color black. So I'm gonna click on my color option here to move my slider all the way down so I have black selected. Then you will choose whichever pencil you want to use. And for this particular project, I want to use something that looks a little handmade or hand-drawn. So, you know, you can just test the options. This one works for me. And my stamp is actually going to be super simple. It's gonna be a simple star shape. And I'm just going to fill in all of the inside. And when I'm happy with my shape, then I have to export this as a photo. So I'm gonna go to this first icon on my top menu here where it says share, choose JPEG, save image. And this has saved my shape to my photos app. And now I'm ready to create my stamp. So to do that, I will go back to my brush. And actually I want to show you how you can create a new brush library because I want to have a library where I keep the brushes that I've made myself. So I'm going to scroll down through all of the libraries that I have until I can see this blue plus sign. I tap there and I'm going to label this, I can actually use my Apple Pencil, my brushes. So here I have this new blank library. As you can see, there's no brushes in here yet. So I'm going to turn this star into a brush. I'm going to click on this plus sign and from here, I'm gonna go to where it says shape. Then I'm going to go to this little gray button where it says edit, import, import a photo. I can select the recently created image, which is the shape I just created and exported. There we go. And now I have it on my canvas. And now you have to tap with two fingers on the screen at once to flip the color so the background is black and the image is white. Once you've done this, you click on done. And here on this area, you actually have a preview of how the brush is looking. So I'm going to click on where it says drawing pad. I'm gonna clear the pad. And if I tap with my pencil on the screen, you can see the star appears. So my brush, you know, is showing the stamp that I created. However, if I draw like this, then you can't really tell what is going on because the stars are so close together. To fix that, we are going to go to stroke path. So the first option here on the left and then where it says spacing that is how you will control how separate or close together you want your stars or your stamp to be in my case i want to use this brush to create like a starry background like a space you know theme background so i want them to be pretty spaced out so that you know it looks more random it doesn't look like a line right so this looks like i drew lines but this looks like just random stars together so you know you can play around with whatever works for you and another thing i like to do and go back to shape is change the scatter here it, it'll just like rotate some shapes or stamps a little bit and i love that because it makes it look as though each of the of the stamps or of the stars are different and not the same shape right so it looks a little more random more maybe handmade so i like that you can control the rotation here and you can just play with these settings. You know, you have this preview pad to see what, what you are doing looks like. So that's really helpful. And then I usually just skip all the way to Apple Pencil. Another thing I want to control is I want all my stars to have full color when I when I draw on my on my canvas or my pad. I don't want some of them to be transparent and some more um, colored. And this depends on the pressure that I apply with my pencil so if i don't apply a lot of pressure as you can see the stars are very light and if i apply i apply more pressure then the stars become brighter i want them all to be brighter so i will go to where it says opacity it says pressure up here and then i move the slider all the way to the left and that means that there's no change in the opacity all the stars will have full color lastly i will go to where it says about this brush just to click on where it says untitled brush and then i can just choose another um, name so i'm going to label these stars done done 
and then you can test your new pencil on a new layer so here I have it so for example if I want to create like a spacey pattern I can change the color of my background to something dark like a dark blue or a black color and then choose a white for my pencil and then I can create my stars for the background and just like that you have created your very own stamp brush in Procreate I hope you liked this video guys and you found it helpful if you did please give it a thumbs up to let me know and if you haven't subscribed yet don't forget to do it and click on the bell to turn on the notification so you know when there's a new video out if you have any questions, something was not clear, please drop me a comment below. I'll get back to you as quick as I can. And also, if you have suggestions on what you'd like me to film next, I'm happy to hear them all. So leave it in a comment as well. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye-bye.